But I thought, well, he figured he strike his foot so he can't run anywhere. Uh, that's one way to look at it. But I also find it interesting because uh, the sole of one's foot represents um, domain. You know, when, um, when, when, when Joshua, Yahusha, the prophet and uh, the children of Yisrael, when they were getting ready to go into the promised land, Yah told them that every place that the sole of your foot tread upon, I have given it on to you. And it's one of the reasons why in, um, in the Hebrew culture that the shoe was used as a token of a covenant, you see, because uh, the soul represents domain, okay? And so, um, Shatan started off with the soul of his foot, okay? It, to me, it suggests, uh, it's, and you know, this is what I get, one of the things I get from it, is afflicting his domain, okay? And he goes to his crown, okay? Dominion, okay? So he strips him of his domain, and his desire is to take his dominion, you see? Um, because without domain, you have no dominion. A king is only a king because he has a kingdom, he has a domain, therefore he has dominion, okay? And so um, he was seeking to take Job's dominion. Um, uh, verse 8, And he took him a potsherd, speaking now of Job, to scrape himself withal, and we know that potsherd is, is a piece of pottery. Uh, also, it's interesting that, you know, when you look up the word boil in the Hebrew, uh, one of the uh, words for it is eruption, you know, um, and the, the first thing he sought to strike, to strike Job with uh, is, is, is to strike him with boils. And the word boil also means eruptions. And so what you see is you see you get the picture of these bumps that are constantly erupting on the flesh of the servant of Yah. Uh, painful unsightful, I mean, just terrible, you know. Uh, you see, uh, Shatan, he is the master of, uh, of torture, you know. And uh, when he went, when Yah gave him the opportunity, when Yah gave him the opportunity to attack Job, uh, he didn't just go mindlessly and decide that, uh, okay, let me try this. But in his wicked heart, he thought out, what's the worst thing that I can do to him without taking his life? How can I torture him? You see, this is about, a, this is about really just, just inflicting pain on him, uh, causing, causing him to, uh, um, to turn. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I just noticed a comment here that uh, Suffer for Him is unable to hear. Uh, perhaps... Um, Hmm. I see that they've tried logging out and logging back in. Uh, maybe reinstalling the program might help. Okay, praise Yah, praise Yah. Uh, welcome, uh, Shabbat Shalom. Um, okay, and so Shatan is very tactical in his attacks. And so his thought process had to be, how can I bring him to his lowest? How can I cause people to look down on him? How can I cause him to be ridiculed? Um, how can I cause him to suffer the greatest, which in turn will cause him to curse Yah, to turn his back on the Most High, because that was his intent, that was his goal. And so he afflicted him with boils from the sole of his feet, attacking his domain to the crown of his head, seeking to take his dominion, okay? And not only that, that he would become a shameful sight in front of his people. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to know something mm -hmm. that, Job, that, that, that Satan may have uh, thought about was the fact that Job made sacrifices for his kids. In mm -hmm. the beginning, we see he made sacrifices for his kids in case they sinned against the Almighty. Mm -hmm. So he came against his family because he knew how he felt about his children. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. My, my wife was just pointing out in something we discussed um, er, last week as we went through chapter one was that Job made sacrifices for his kids. Um, and when we read the text, it didn't say because he knew they sinned. Just in case they sinned, he would make sacrifices for his kids. And so Shatan knows just how dear uh, his family was to him, how, how dear his kids were to him and his desires for them. And so uh, that was his first wave of attack. He went and he, he, he took them out and then he went after his cattle. And now, and, and, and also it's important to note that uh, the first thing he went after wasn't uh, the cattle, wasn't the stuff, because the stuff in itself was not important to Job. You see, but he went after his kids, um, and there were kids that who we can tell that the servant of Yah desired that they would be children who would serve Yah, children who would honor him. And so we see him making sacrifices on their behalf. We see him uh, standing in the gap on, on their behalf. And, and, and when we come to know Yah to be who he is in our lives, our desire is not just for us to make it to be in a new Jerusalem with him, but it, 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 it begins to trickle down. We begin to think about those close to us and we begin to think about our children. And if our children are older and not lining up with him, then we are truly, truly disheartened by that. So I can see where, you know what I mean, starting with someone's children. Mm -hmm. would cause a reaction, but he definitely didn't get the reaction that he thought he would get. Mm, absolutely. And so even as um, uh, Suffer for Him just noted, yes, any man of Yah, fam for any man of Yah, family comes first. <laughs> 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 okay, for any any man of Yah, family comes first, and so uh, uh, the the servant of Yah was making sacrifices, was making sacrifices for his children. Uh, as we continue, uh, verse um, Hallelujah, verse nine. Then said his wife. Now, <laughs> then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse Elohim and die. Now, now keep in mind, keep in mind that in spite of everything that had happened already, and 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 please, you know, for women, security is important. And um, sisters, please tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, for women, they want to know that they're secure. They want to know that they are uh, safe physically, that they are financially secured. Um, you know, that their husbands, that, that they're, they're doing the things necessary to make sure that they have security, right? And so for, 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 and security for them, and I think even more so security for their children first, and then security for them, you know, that's, that's, that's just how the, um, their quotes respond. And, and so they seek security for their children. And then security for them. They're looking for a stable home. They're looking for stability. Um, they're looking for security. Uh, they're looking for somebody who they know is going to stand up for them uh, uh, when it comes down to it. They're, they're not looking for somebody who's just, uh, you know, when, um, when the heat is on, they just take off running and leave them, neglect them. They're looking for somebody who's going to be there for them both emotionally, um, they're looking for somebody who's rooted spiritually, and they're looking for somebody who's going to provide for them uh, physical and financial security, okay? And so that's just how women are. So now, I find it interesting knowing that, that, um, that Job's wife, Job's wife had lost all her children. Uh, uh, she had lost all of their possessions i mean the clothing factory was gone the the clothing line was out the window um because all the sheep and everything else that make the material was destroyed um you know the farm was destroyed uh the, there ain't no more milk trucks coming by because the cows are gone i mean all the cattle is gone everything is lost but yet in all of that she never 
she never uttered a word. She never uh, said anything like, well, why don't you just curse Yah and die? But yet it's not until now when we see that Shatan have been given a certain degree of authority to afflict Job himself, making the point that uh, the only reason why he had not messed with Job's wife before was because he was not given permission to touch the man of Yah, to touch the servant of Yah. But here it is that he has been given permission to afflict the servant, and now his wife is telling him to do the most unthinkable thing. And the question is, was it her just talking, or was it Shatan who was inspiring her, because he now has a certain level of... Um, of influence over her.